Hi, my name is uh, Jacob Albrecht, and today I'm going to be showing you the my Stair Aug A2. Now, the purpose for this video is I could not, uh, when I looked on YouTube, uh, which is probably the most uh, reliable source out there for reviews on uh, airsoft weapons, especially ones that are not insanely expensive, um, I found um, I found a couple that actually looked like my gun, but I could not know for sure when I was going to purchase it. So the only thing I really had to go off of was uh, the site I bought it off of um, in its comment section. And I also, I'm going to be providing links below in the description um, to another uh, site. I believe it's like Airsoft Megasore and they have the same gun with the same list price um, uh, and the same specs it seems. Um, now, I bought it off of airrattle.com. Regardless of what you may have heard, um, I have had no issues with any of my stuff. Um, I bought my gun yesterday. I fired it, fired it for a little while. Nothing broke out of the box, I could, I could say for sure. So uh, what we have here is um, what I brought out here was my um, um, original box. And the reason for this, um, besides just showing that it's actually the gun that you think it is and that I'm being honest with you, um, the other reason is right here, metal gearbox. On Air Rattle, they were not very clear on this because they had two guns. One was about $160. The gun that was $160 said it had a metal gearbox in the list. Metal gearbox version three. Now Air Rattle specifically, um, they they will uh, they said in the uh, they had like a Facebook uh, comment section down below that that confirmed. That this had a metal gearbox version 3. I'm not going to take this thing apart because I am pretty new to airsoft but I do I, I do believe I know enough to make an honest uh, video with the amount of description you may need and also this is a what uh, most people what I've heard it being called a budget gun. Uh, it has an ABS polymer outside or exterior uh, with the exception of um, uh, I believe this part here this could no maybe that's plastic. Uh, this up here is for sure metal and it's probably uh, cheaper pot metal. And uh, I can't, I don't know if you can see it out here in this lighting. I got a, like a scratch on it when I, <laughs> I had a, keep in mind, this is the first time I got a, uh, I, I got an uh, extra hollow uh, red laser scope uh, with parallax on it. And I was trying to like put it on here. Uh, this does not come with a gun, by the way. I'll make that absolutely clear. Um, I scratched it coming on here. So that's for sure metal. And it said that, I think, in the description for the weapon anyway online. So... The thing I was talking about that I didn't like was this device right here, which is the foregrip. Uh, foregrip. So you pull it and it comes down, or you pull it and it goes up. Um, so this thing actually makes a little sound, and you can feel it kind of go back and forth. I don't love that, but when you're really firing this thing, you're really not going to notice it. Um, but it is really annoying, and that is one thing I'd like to point out. Um, but this does not the, uh, entail the rest of the gun's quality. Uh, it feels nice, the plastic feels good, it is, um, it's a uh, ABS polymer, uh, impact resistant plastic. And, uh, so, and I'm not sure, it feels like if I dropped it, there wouldn't be any major problems, but I'm not going to try it myself, and, um, and, uh, as a countermeasure to prevent that, um, there is a, uh, uh, you have a little loop here, and a loop back here, of course. Uh, it does not come with a sling. The only reason I have a sling is because I play the violin, and my violin case has a sling on it, so I just, just took it from that and attached it to here, and it happened to be long enough. It comes with um, a couple iron sight things you can attach the, to the uh, rail system. Um, the only thing about this gun that I guess you couldn't, if you're, Beginner or not, regardless, um, is that this is not the uh, AUG A3, this is the AUG A2. The AUG A3, like if you've ever played a game like Battlefield 4, Battlefield 4 features a, um, a full rail system, not just on top, but it also uh, features a rail system right here. On the side and everything, and it looks, I actually don't really like the look as much. Uh, personally, but I guess it would be more tactical. I just don't think I was able to find a cheap, a cheap enough one. So this is a, a Discovery, uh, Discovery line of brand weapon, and uh, and they uh, describe themselves everywhere I see as they contribute to people like me who are beginners or people who are cheap. So 
what I have here is two uh, filled to the brim with uh, 0.20 uh, gram BBs um, and uh, six millimeter. So my uh, weapon comes with the uh, one uh, high um, uh, high capacity um, AUG magazine, um, and I bought another one uh, just for convenience. Um, so what I'm going to be shooting here is the uh, hole right here in this birdhouse, and I'm going to be uh, attempting to shoot that. This is a um, bullpup design weapon, as you might know, because it's an AUG, and you've probably seen these in Counter-Strike. Uh, the Counter-Strike one is the AUG A1. And it, the, the rail system is a little bit higher up here on the gun. Uh, so this is probably a little bit mo more modern looking design, but uh, not compared to the AUG A3, which is, a, uh, which, which is just as functional as any other weapon. So, uh, let's fire this thing. Alright. Safety off. Let's try again. I don't think I actually got anything in the hole. And just to prove that it's going to where I think it is, let's try it, uh, giving you a different perspective. I, uh, I can't find anything in here, but uh, most of them bounced off, and uh, when I, I don't know if you saw it as well, they, uh, they all hit the birdhouse about probably like here. They probably uh, nicked it right around here. So you're going to be accurate with your shots. Now let's try with uh, full auto. Here we go. So, it's got a little thing right here, take it out, put a new one in. So I'll make it absolutely clear, the, uh, this thing comes with uh, iron sights. I'm sure they're fine if you know how to use them and you play a lot of World War II games. I certainly prefer holo holographic sights. Um, uh, not because you can keep both of your eyes open and you can take advantage of parallax. I um, mean, this is pretty cheap. I don't know if it was like twenty dollars or something like that, and it seems to have parallax, and it's not. Um, I don't know if you can catch this. There you go. Perfect. 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 If as I, as you change perspectives, you'll see the parallax. So if I am over here, turn the safety off. And. That didn't sound good. So let's, um, and straightforward, it should work as well. I wanted to make it absolutely clear that, um, this, um, gun does not come with the holographic sights. I'll be linking everything I bought in the description, uh, including the, um, extra clip, um, that, uh, I tested both, so they both work. So what I kind of like to know is, uh, I'm not sure if I'm very good at these videos, um, if I am, please tell me, and if I'm not, please tell me as well. I can take criticism. My goal in Total was to help people find things. And uh, so the, uh, also the, um, it says in the description and all the, in the sites I'll be linking, but this is a metal barrel uh, that might be too expected or default in all weapons. I'm not even, I've, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure about those transparent Walmart weapons having metal barrels, but that sounds like something if you pay more than $50 for a gun, you'd expect this right out of the box uh, without even have to, having to do any research. So this gun is about, um, one sight, uh, they both say about uh, 290 to 300 in FPS, and on the box here it says um, uh, 295. Um, I shot this at a wall, though, at close range, and they made a dent in it, like a... Uh, the size of the BB and it got in about this far. Um, so I guess it could do damage to your skin if you're in close quarters. And as you can see, I would have no tr no trouble hitting a target. Um, with the, uh, this being an, an assault rifle, I would have no trouble at all hitting a target from a good distance away. And from the, the pattern I'm seeing here, especially if you, uh, you can play with the hop-up. Uh, there is a hop-up in this thing. So if I pull the, um, 
leave her this way. Excuse me. Camera's kind of awkward to hold there. So if I pull it, pull it this way and uh, uh, slide it to my right here, um, this little port opens up a little bit, and you can play the hop up by stuffing your skinny little finger down here. Oh my gosh, I could imagine this really sucking if you had really big fingers. Um, yeah, so let's, um, so you, maybe you should go to the gym for using this. I, I don't know if you can use it or not, but yeah. Uh, so that's about it. Um, I think I had the hop up about right, my, and I had my uh, scope aligned pretty well. Um, so all my shots look like they wouldn't have had any, uh, they wouldn't have gone, uh, they wouldn't have lost their accuracy for a long way, just the way I could tell it was shooting from across my yard here. So, yeah. So thank you so much for watching. As I said, please tell me if I'm, my videos suck. Uh, I'd like to help if I can. Thank you so much. Have a great day.